Hey, this is Coltrans here from Necrotix Gaming, bringing you a really good, solid Hunter build today. It's going to be using the Celestial Nighthawk and a very underused exotic called Bad Juju. A really, really cool scout rifle. And what it does is rapid hits with this, gives you a string of curses, and it helps to build your super up a lot quicker. So the way we've got the build set up is to get us more orbs, fire sprites, and to get us to our super a lot quicker. And as you can see there, this thing hits really hard with just under a million in hits. And um, yeah, it's super, super solid. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and check this build out so that you can run it and you can go slay bosses or any other content you wanna hit. Super fun build to run in onslaught, raids, and nightfalls. Okay, so let's take a look at this build. So we're going to be going for the Golden Gun Marksman. You want those Orbs of Power. Then we're going to be going at Gambler's Dodge to recharge that melee. Then you're going to be going Triple Jump. I love Triple Jump. And we're going to be going for Knife Trick, just for those Scorches. And we're then going to be going for Healing Grenade. Needs no explanation, keeps that Hunter alive. Then you're going to be using on your mark. So you precision final blows, grant you a nearby allies weapon handling and reload speed for a duration stacks up to three times. Then we're going to be going knock them down. Solar supers are enhanced. Dead shot. Golden gun has damage resistance. The marksman has increased duration. We are going for marksmen. Uh, Emperor torches, power melee attacks against combatants make you a nearby allies radiant. Emperor singeing, we are going to be going through the scorch stacks. Then you'll be going for searing, defeating scorch targets, grants melee energy and creates fire sprite. It's all about the scorches. Then you're going to be going for benevolence, applying restoration cure radiant to allies, grants increased grenade melee and class ability regens. Then you're going to be going for Ember of Mercy. So you're going to be going for that restoration and the fire sprites with restoration on that. The two most important things for this build is going to be your resilience and your discipline and rocking those 100. I know people say about um, mobility, but you don't really need it with this build because this build is solid. So this is your bad juju, and you can see that kills refill the magazine, increase damage for a short duration, and grants super energy based on the strength of string of curses. Fires for auto, super underused, super fun, and um, I love this from the back of D1. I was always using juju, and it used to be amazing in PvP. Then I'm going to be using the Epochal Integration, um, really nice. If you're not using Sunshot, this is the one you want to be going for. Um, and it hits like a truck. Good for any solar build where you are not using Sunshot. You can see the Celestial Nighthawk. Precision Final Blows reduce the cooldown of your super. Modifies Golden Gun to fire a single high damage shot. Targets defeated by that shot give you super energy and explode so you get a nice chunk of your super energy back. Plus, for the way we've got it set up, you get the orbs of power. And as you can see, the damage this thing does is absolutely nasty. And um, like I said, just under a million in damage on a shot um, is nothing to look away from. Okay, so if you want the dim link for this, hit me up in the comments below. Go out, set this build up. Go out, run with it, have fun with it. And in the heavy slot, it's pretty much whatever you want. Um, I found that also using um, different weapons in the primary, you don't have to use the juju, you can use whatever weapon setup you want, but if you want those supers back quicker, definitely use that bad juju. Okay, enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one.